Now let's talk about the SIP register message by using Wireshark. We can see here it is the SIP register request or it can be method. It can um, have a couple of names, just to be honest. So we'll see it by the Wireshark and give a bit of a complicated example, not just by sending a register message and get replied to by a 200 okay, and that's it. No, we'll give a bit of a complicated message. So there will be errors happening in the middle, right? Now, first thing, let's open the Wireshark application, all right? And then we are going to open the other file, which is the PCAP file of the uh, call and register PCAP, right? Uh, here, I'll put an attachment for you uh, in the resources for this file, so you can open it with me while I'm explaining, all right? Um, here, as you can see, uh, let me just put, uh, okay. Now, again, as you guys can see, um, while I was talking with you about the GUI of the Wireshark, and I stated that you have may you may have more than one protocol. Uh, as you guys can see, all these are protocols. Okay, uh, like the DNS, SIP, FTP, uh, TCP, ARP. All these are the protocols, um, and all the other protocols as well. Let's just uh, filter this one. Uh, by putting SIP and then press enter in the filter tab as uh, I'll do filtration of the uh, SIP, okay? Um, all right. Now, again, as, or of course, here is the uh, message uh, sorry, this is, this is the message number. Uh, this is message number 19. And this is the uh, time of the packet itself or when the message arrived, uh, the source that sent the message and the uh, destination and the protocol, which is SIP, uh, the message size, size, which is 509 bits. And here is some information or a summary uh, about the message itself, in which here, this is a SIP uh, request uh, on uh, register uh, uh, SIP request, and its method is request, uh, or method is register, and you want to register on a on registrar X, for example, okay? Now, remember down here, when I told you in GUI of Wireshark as the number of packets is 691, and the displayed are 81. But why 81, which is almost about 11%? Because here I filtered the SIP and number of SIP messages are 81 SIP messages out of a total of packets or messages of 691. Now let's talk about the register message uh, itself. As the first thing I'll do, as we agreed that the Wireshark is divided into three parts. Now, this is the packet part. And then this is the information of the uh, SIP message. As you can see, frame, uh, ethernet, uh, which has the MAC address. Let's just put the button out. Uh, which has the MAC address uh, of the source and destination. Uh, all right and IP version four. And the four, of course, the most important part is the uh, session initiation, a session uh, message protocol uh, or session initiation uh, protocol. And before we look at it, we'll take a look at the packets or messages by using uh, the way I see for myself kind of easy. Uh, so let's say on this message, 121, we're gonna press right click then follow, then UDP stream. Uh, by the way, everyone has his own method array, but this is how I like to work uh, with it, uh, by this uh, UDP stream, okay? Right. 
Now, this is my UDP stream, and here it states in the first line that the user will send in their request line here uh, the method, which is register, okay? And asks to register on registrar server X, for example, or serving call session control function X, for example. And the identity of the server you want to go to is cybercity.dk uh, by SIP version two. And we said SIP version one is no longer used anymore, right? Now, by SIP version two, UDP protocol, here, who sent, uh, actually, who sent it? Or who's it sent to? Now, this is my IP address, which is 192.168.1.2. And here is the branch, uh, which is my identifier, or the identifier of the transaction. And then from, uh, as you guys can see, VOIL uh, 18, so it's VOI 18063 uh, 3, 18063 at sip.cybercity.dk. And same goes to two as well. Uh, here the call ID or my call ID uh, is this number, which is my identifier, okay? And contact uh, is when you want to reply me. How would you reply me as to here? Uh, it is uh, voil avoy one eight zero six three at one nine two point one six eight point one point two, and this is my IP address, and this is the port number uh, fifty sixty. All right. Now I don't want you guys to get confused. In line two, this is the uh, SIP address, uh, or sorry, this is the IP address that you can reach me by. And from is my name, which is voy18063 at sip uh, cybercity.dk. But my IP address is 192.168.1.2. So here I'm stating my contact information, which is voy18063 at 192. All right. So uh, voy18063. Uh, Apologies for that. So it's uh, voy18063 at 192 at my IP address, which is, uh, and my port number, okay? So again, uh, contact means when you want to reply or to give a response to register request or method that I sent, send it to me by this contact address, which is voy18063 uh, dot at 192.168.1.2 port number 5060, right? Now here you'll find expired, which is 1,200, in which this means I'll be registered on the network for a time of 1,200 seconds. And then I'll need to do re-registration requests in which I'll update the network and tell it that I need to do re-registration once again. But why does this happen? Why one to one, well, 1,200 seconds? Or why did I put a limit to my registration? To make sure that you are active and everything is okay, as if you came after 1,200 seconds and didn't send me re-registration, I will know that you have a problem. Here, the C sequence, uh, as the sequence of a uh, sequence number of this message is 68. And by the way, any response that will come by this register message will be 68, unless that I have a problem in this register. So the network will respond to me that you have a problem in this register. So I will send a new register with a new C sequence, which will be 69, for example, okay? Now here the content length is zero, but, but why zero? Because you don't have an SDP port in the register. It's not like the invite, as the invite has a SIP port, which is the header, and SDP body, which is the body of the message, in which we put the information that will describe the traffic or the media traffic itself as to how it looks like. But in register, I don't have this. Now, the maximum forward is 70, 
as this register message can pass through more than 70 nodes or 70 hops. And if it took this many hops, it means that your network planning has a problem, right? Um, now the user agent or type of telephone that I'm working with is Neuro uh, SIP IP version uh, two. Uh, so this is the user agent or type of phone, uh, telephone that I'm working with, right? So here I send the SIP register request and state that I want to register on the message, but there, but here the register message is missing something very important, which is the authentication digest, all right? In which I gave something called nonce, which is the combination that I do on the UE, which is the authentication token, for example, and random number, in which the UE generates and at the same time, uh, is also generated from the network side. And once the network receives the register message, it starts comparing the nonce. If it is equal, then there is no problem and this person can authenticate. But if not equal, then I'll send him that you sent a wrong nonce. Now here I sent the register message in the pink or red color, but the network or registrar server which is uh, sip.cybercity.dk uh, uh, responded with 401 unauthorized. As it states that you didn't send me an authentication digest or didn't put your authentication parameters in the message. And that's why I'll return with sip 401 unauthorized as you are unauthor uh, an unauthorized user or didn't give me your identity or didn't it do authentication and, and something is wrong. As we mentioned, what was missing here was the authentication digest. Okay. Um, all right. Now here is the same call ID, which is 578-222-729, all right? Uh, which is the same as above in the call ID as well. And uh, C sequence, I'm replying the same message of 68, same as above as well. And uh, from the user, which is uh, VOI uh, 18063, same as above as well. Um, and two is also the same, right? Now, here it states, and that what is actually missing is the authentication digest. Uh, so here the user agent sent another register message. Again, uh, the same it sent, uh, uh, the same, uh, sorry. Uh, so again, I'm sorry, the same it sent, it, the register message with the SIP version two, same sequence, but everything's the same, but only what's added was the authorization digest. Uh, of the username of let's say X, for example. And I'm sending it to uh, sip.cybercity.dk and URI is by SIP, okay? Uh, and my nonce is, as you guys can see, is this one, all right? And here, any request you send will give you 100 trying. Uh, which is an uh, indication that the destination received the message and is currently processing the register message, okay? Then it responded with SIP 403 wrong password, as the password here was wrong. Then the user sent the register message again, but it didn't put the authentication digest as above. And then register server again replied with SIP 401 unauthorized. So again, it sent the register message and put authorization, but he found out that the nonce here changed or the nonce this person sent was wrong. And once again, nonce is a combination between the random number and token which the UE generates and the network generates from its side as well. 
and they start comparing them between each other. And if they are equal, then this person is authorized to access the network. However, if they're not equal, then this person is not authorized to access the network. So the network here sent him that the nonce had changed and it was wrong. So it sent another register message, but again, without authentication digest. So it sent 401 unauthorized. And this keeps repeating until the register message once again uh, sends with the authorization uh, digest uh, and the correct nonce. So here the destination responded, keeps, it keeps going. And then the destination responded with 100 trying as it's processing. Then it sent the 200 okay in which you are authorized to access the network. As there is authorization digest, correct username, correct password, correct nonce. So you can access the network normally, all right? Um, here we finished or took a look at the part of the registration. Um, if you guys scroll down a bit, uh, you'll find the invite. Uh, if you wanna take a look at the rest of the things, which has the header, the SDP part, all right? Um, let me just go back to the, uh, C sequence part um, in, the register, in the register and the C sequence part. As here, I sent a C sequence of, as you guys can see, uh, sorry, C sequence of 68, and then got rejected by 41 unauthorized. Then when I sent another register, all right, you can find the C sequence increased by number to be 69. And then the reply will be on the same number of 69, okay, same number. And then when it's sent another register, it is by C sequence 70 and um, so on, right? So this is the idea of the C sequence, okay? Thank you guys.